Hi guys, it's me Mel from Ireland. Uh, today we're not making a card or something. Uh, we do something totally different. We have Halloween stuff to do. Whoa. Right, we... We, I... I got those pumpkins years and years ago. They're made of plastic and they're terrible. There were marshmallows in them. So I'm going to take that and recycle them. We're not throwing anything away. Not in my house. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had to say that now. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so I need to clean that up here. And then I'm going to spray paint that uh, with that stuff. It's multi-purpose spray paint in black. And it's matte. So not glossy or anything. Then I bought little parts of skeletons. They're like a Euro 50 or something, uh, Mr. Price. So I got these parts and I've started already gluing these together in really funny ways. So that's going to be two headed. And here we have like a, yeah, well, it's his feet. It's not his arms or something <clears throat> or plain bones. No, we have legs. Yes. And I gl started gluing them, uh, gluing, gluing them together. I put them on a dowel and I'm going to spray paint these to black too. I got three so far. So we got one with a spine. And we got one only here without anything. That's pretty neat. And now we have the two one and I'm going to put a spine on that one too. So we take that thing off. These little noopsels. I don't know what... Uh, you're supposed to put these together like this but no it's no fun in that one right I'm gonna take that part of off too and he's gonna get one delicious little spine I'm gonna glue that on like this i have no idea if these are right and i think that's the back side we go like this yeah, so just take a bit of hot glue. Oh, this, this, this one is so heavy to use, or maybe I don't have strength, I don't know. Just a bit of hot glue, and then if you hear me curse, then I burn myself. Yuck. Now, oh, there you go. Press it a few seconds until it's cooled down. Yeah, I want to make a centerpiece. A centerpiece uh, for my, I don't know, maybe my mantle from the... Um, open fire in the living room or maybe for a table in the kitchen or don't know yet but it's gonna be delicious i got lots of materials lying around here like this stuff and we have glow in the dark googly eyes and i made a, a sign already now this is this is finished now this can be spray painted i just will clean it off camera i'm gonna clean all the little bits and bobs hanging up here so not doing that now so i bought ah at least 15 years ago i bought these they're supposed to be like um fence posts or fence you could make your own fence or something years ago really and i just turned it upside down and have these things you can find when you have like a canvas or uh a picture frame or something and you put these in the back you know to make them more snug so i took part of these so i told you i'm not throwing away anything now <laughs> when it comes to stuff like that it will come handy and it did so i glued them on like this and i'm going to spray paint them in black too and i'm going to take a white um marker and just or maybe something else i don't know yet and i'm going to do uh write something on it 
and let's see something else i don't know if i put it maybe on a thing like this or if i just put it in here we will see when it's finished i just have to spray paint now everything and i think i got enough skeleton stuff so i see you back when i spray painted everything bye yeah i'm back so i'm outside now oh i love that sound of it <laughs> And let's see if I can. I had to break that cap open, you know. The, you need some tweezers and stuff and pinchers and. Oh, oh yeah. That's a nice color. Whew. Uh, little tip never do that inside. Doesn't matter if it gets inside. You won't see that anyway. Oh, jeez. Oh, Even outside, it's like smelly. That's one thing. It's, it's not easy with one hand, you know. Now we do the back sides or whatever side is just now upside down. Uh, well, I don't know. I take them as I come, you know. Just do it. Oh, I'm off camera. I'm sorry. Now let it dry. goodness i like spray painting but the smell Whoa. so it won't take long it's very mild today so see you in a bit bye bye so hi guys i'm back what i did so far is spray paint the pumpkin shrine and i missed the spot no problem and i found these cute little thingies oh, there's glue on it um which are normally used to put in holes when you have like furniture or something and they're supposed to look like this see and I decided I levitate that pumpkin a bit so I just finished gluing them on here looks a bit messy but it's okay it doesn't have to be neat so now we have feet I think that's quite cool. Looks more like a cauldron now, doesn't it? Right. And before I put, so that's what it looks like now. No, wait a sec. So I spray painted. And there's his face. I don't like this. So we're going to use, as a focal point, we're going to use the side without face so let me see i got ribbon it's brand new okay so let's get me some ribbon this in the holes if I can. That's just for decoration. Put a knot in. Or two. Just plain knot. actually just so hate the, the holes here
That's a bit fiddly. Didn't think of that. I've done that off camera. This is a really tiny little pumpkin. It's not very big, but I think it's cute. still there yeah I use tacky glue you should do that yeah. or maybe use a glue gun or something but I thought it's plastic so hmm not sure if we can do that because it's very thin plastic I really like reusing stuff recycle now isn't that cute it has little dots on it now in case you don't get everything, take a sharpie because there will be little. I just go over it slightly, ever so slightly, just dot it. See, I'm a perfectionist when it comes to crafting. <laughs> there. Now I got this foam here. Maybe you know what it is. That's foam for uh, the green one is for um, wet stuff. I mean, wet flowers, and the gray one is for actually uh, artificial flowers. So we use the green one because I bought, uh, I bought some beautiful, lovely roses, and that stuff is getting quite messy. So, gee, I need to really levitate this thing here. That's don't know how to do that. Do that. I'm so sorry for you being so close. Okay. Still figure that I haven't figured out. I hope this is not kind of measuring it now. That should do the trick. I'm cutting off the sides now. Maybe it will fit. Oh yeah. Normally you should water that. But and I lost the foot. in here. Just cut it until it fits. Use all the rests. Stuff everything in there. That's what I do. Waste not one nut. Oh, what a mess. in there but I hurt my pumpkin just I can fix it in the end that won't bother us now <clears throat> excuse me I'm gonna go and fill that thing up now well, there's Agnes <laughs> hi Agnes look at her lying on her little box <laughs> She loves it there. Dog stuff everywhere. Now. That's Sorry, a bit messy, but I just 
build stuff before I fly. But I want to use the daylight. Now let's go back. Just had lunch. <laughs> See, that's what I made out of. I don't actually like artificial stuff, but I got it. I had it there, and it. <sighs> well, something in between. Now, what shall we do now? I bought roses, which I'm gonna clip off. Clip, clip off. Yeah. I really have to think of something here. I tried one of those rings, but then it's right in front of me. Maybe I should do it from the side. I don't know. Oh, maybe I should put, I'm in the kitchen today because I have a bigger, bigger chair. I'll take a cookie box. Let's see. Sorry for making you seasick. Motion sick. Maybe that will work. All right, so we got one rose. And I got quite some foliage from the garden. I actually never made a tutorial when I'm doing um, fresh stuff. What is this down? Ew. Look at that. These berry from the hedge. Got these. Not sure if I should use them. Because they're falling off already. I got some lovely um, ivy. And I got some of those hits. Just take whatever you get in the garden, whatever you find there. So I, I got these sprigs, not sure if I use them. Always craft as you go. <laughs> So, let's see, got more roses, take off the, she might cut this shorter. What have you been up to? And so you can just put them in there. Look at these. They look like little fireworks, don't they? I think they're really cute. Gonna leave them a little bit longer. I'm not a florist, so I just do how I please. And you just let one hang out like this. That's kind of cute. Here. That gives it a bit of movement, doesn't it? Oh, 
always take the leaves off before you put it in the foam. All right, well, now maybe we can just wind this around. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Just stick it in the... Taking all the leaves off. If you cut rose hips, make sure that they, they don't poke you. a butterfly again we have loads of butterflies they always come in my house and then I try to really softly catch them and bring them back out again I cut this off here just to take the berries off. Make sure everything is gone before you stick it in your foam. Hello? No, well, now it's. <laughs> You can look from all the sides, it looks nice actually. Lost my focal point here. But that's not that's okay. It's just for home. Nobody's watching anyway. So we're good. Oops. Don't break it. Make it. Oh. It's really exciting. I'm really excited too for Halloween. They're gonna bring the new Hocus Pocus part two. Let's see how they. I hope it's as good as the first one. I really love Hocus Pocus for years now and years. I'm watching that. The Anders, Anderson, I think, sisters, right? You know, we actually can leave this out here. That gives it a bit of a creepy vibe. And I like to go overboard with my floral things. You should do that. See me do a, a Christmas read, um, an advent, actually an advent read, because as a German we love our advent reads, and I make them really opulent. A bit more color and put some more hips. Now I really like this point of view here. I don't know, I think that's enough. Still got a full inch left. Maybe one more hit down here and like the rose hips. It's part of autumn, isn't it? And they have such a nice color. Uh 
remember those as being so squished. Aren't they? Open up. As I said, I'm not a florist. That's already. I like this so far. Kind of pleased. Let me see it in the berries. I'm afraid it's a bit more color in. Okay, now, I got, what do you think so far? I'm going to show you later when we're finished. Ah, and I lost foot again. So we got the skeletons. The skeleton parts. Just stick them in there. I only I think I've been, um, I showed you how to make them before. which could go in the middle but I think that would be too much maybe if we put that in the back and let it go down all the way now what do you think just a oh and I found I made this this sign it's a beetle guy creepy clown and pizza face and everybody knows what we're talking about right <laughs> Just need to put it in here somehow. I will probably rearrange everything <laughs> a couple of times. I might put this down here. This is too... Um, boing. Falling apart already. That's better. Now, let's see. I gonna so we got the two headed one and we got this one. We got a bat in the back and we got this sign just to. Uh, these we really need to. I ha shouldn't have glued them on be shortly before, <laughs> but uh, that's okay. It's gonna dry. So let me think what you think about this. I know it's not perfect, but I only paid three ninety nine for roses, which are still here. So. Yeah, everything else I had in my garden or in my stash. <clears throat> oh, and three ninety nine for the um, tin of black spray paint. 
There you go. Upcycled plastic pumpkin made into a vase. This. Rose hips, roses, and foliage from the garden. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you don't mind me shaking, but I'm not really good at filming. Uh, I just wanted to share a project with you I made. And I hope you like it. It would be nice if you give me a thumbs up. There it is. <laughs> Leave me a like, a comment, whatever you want to do. I'm okay with everything. So, see you next time. Bye, and have a great weekend.